How um, can I help? Uh, I just, I just can't take it anymore, doctor. My headaches and I just, I just can't do anything at the moment. I can't even eat. I can't sleep. I can't even go to work at the moment. Really? When you say you just can't take it, mm. what do you mean? I'm like? just really fed up of feeling like crap all the time. Do you know what I mean? Like having headaches okay. all the time. Tell me more about the headaches. What's they like? I don't know. It's just really weird. It's like, it's just like pressure, like, like a, it just feels like squeezing across my head. Really, just across your head? Yeah, it's just really weird. It's like this tight feeling. It's... I don't know, it feels like there's like something in there, like pressure or... I don't know. Right. And when do you tend to get the headache? <sighs> At the moment, it's like, all, like quite a lot, like... Quite a lot? Yeah, like I get it in the morning and then it just gets worse. So it starts in the morning. Mm. Do you have it at night at all? Well, it's just there all day, really. So it's like you, you wake up with it in the morning, mm. and then what happens to the intensity of the pain? It just gets more and more. Bad. More and more. Yeah. All day. And how bad is this pain? Well, it's just really bad. It's, it's really me. bad. I mean, on a scale of one to ten, where would you put the bad? I don't know, about seven-ish, I suppose. Right. But it just feels it's not it's a bit weird to be having headaches all the time. Right. And how long is all the time? Well it's been like I don't know, it's been like three months maybe or so. Three months. Mm. Okay. It's just really weird. I just I'm so, I just don't know why I'm getting them all the time. It's just a bit Have you got any ideas of why you might be getting them? Um, um, I don't know. I just I Anything help happening in your life that's worrying you? Well, there's no one's worrying me, but... So, tell me. Uh, I don't know, it just, it sounds really silly, but... Just work's really getting on top of me, and... And that's the thing, it just doesn't help, that I'm, I'm like, missing work. Because of the headaches? Yeah, and mm. now it's just made the whole thing so much worse, the whole situation. Well, tell me about the situation at work. Well, it's just my boss, my line manager, it's just really hates me for some reason, like, just making my life hell, just, and, and he just, he's been really unsupportive as well about the headaches, which I knew he would be, because he's just been horrible from day one, and he's just, he's just, he's, he's a bit of a bully, well, I mean, just to me, really, he's just bullying me. So what sorts of things have happened at work when you say he hates you and well, being put it this way, my first day I showed up, he said, oh, that's all we need, blonde bimbo. That was like my first day. Mm. Now he won't even say good morning to me or, or goodbye, he just, just cuts me out all day. And, and then he accused me of being complacent and told one of my other managers. So I just look like I'm not pulling my weight. But, mm. but it's just because I messed up an order because he didn't show me how to do it. And... I didn't know how to do it, so he said that I was being complacent. Okay, so what actually do you do, you do at work? Sorry, uh, I, well, I work for a factory, but I do the distribution. Right. Um, it's just like at night I feel sick thinking about going to work, but I know I have to. Mm. But then I actually feel ill, so I can't always go in. I actually generally feel ill. So how much time have you missed off work in the past three months? You're saying you've had the headaches for three months. Well, I suppose it's been a fair bit. Um, How many days, days or weeks? Like, maybe, well, like, at least once a week I feel like I can't face going in. So at least once a week you're having a day off or a couple of days? Yeah, or? one or two because it's just the headaches are so bad. Plus I just feel sick about going in there. I'd rather just not see him. Mm. There are some days when I know he's not going to be there and right. I'd much rather be there then. Right, right. Now the situation at work, are you getting any help yeah. with it? Well, oh, you are? I feel sick about that too because I'm talking to the union. Are you? Right. Yeah. So it's all got like out of control, and people are saying, "No, you've got to, you've got to do it. You, you can't let this." Oh man, just. So is the union <sighs> supporting you? I mean, yeah, you they're helpful, but you're able to talk to them. But you know, I still have to work with a guy. Do you know what I mean? It's not, yeah, not like I can leave yeah. and then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just. Yeah. Right. So I understand about that work situation. That sounds really difficult. <laughs> to yeah, me, um, with the union involved as well. Anything else that's worrying you outside of work? I don't know, I just... I think just with the whole work thing, I just feel like... I just feel a bit... I sound, I'm sorry, Sam, I'm really 
going on, but I just feel like I'm just not getting much support and stuff. And mm-hmm. yeah, the union are helpful, but I don't think people really understand what it's like at work. Okay. And, mm-hmm. you know, and then my headaches, it's just like it's horrible because I can't do anything. I can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll come back to the headaches. Can I just ask you one more question? Who is uh, supporting you at home? Is that... Well, my boyfriend, but he's no use. He gets bored, he doesn't want to hear about it. Okay. So you really don't feel there's much support at home? I mean, are you getting on all right with your boyfriend? Yeah, but he's just such a bloke. He's just like, I don't, you know, you have to stop, stop bitching about work, you know, do something about it or right. stop going on about it. But it's not that easy. It's like mm. really like makes you feel really, really bad. It's just, mm. He's just like, get on with it. And, you know, it's, it's not his fault. He's just a bloke. But. Mm. Mm. Okay, can I come back to the headaches? Because obviously you're worried about the mm, headaches, I and I need to make sure whether the headaches are anything, you know, serious for me to worry yeah. about. Okay, so with the headaches, you've mentioned that you feel sick. Is yeah. that just a lot of the time feeling sick, or is it sickness yeah. that you actually vomit? No, or? I've not been sick. I just feel nauseous. Mm. Okay. And do you get um, any other symptoms with the headaches, like, for instance, flashing lights or no. nothing like that? You don't get any pins and needles in your face or... No. Right. Just like pressure. Like it feels like there's something in my head. Okay. Or like, sque- like squeezing my head. Squeezing your head. Right, right. And can I just check? You don't get the headaches at night, you've said. You wake up with them in well, the Well, they're just there all day. They're there all day long. I'll probably right. go to bed with a headache, right. to be honest. Right, right. Can I just uh, ask a slightly strange question, but when you go to the toilet, does the headache get worse? No, it doesn't affect it at all. If you bend down, does the headache get worse? Not really. Okay. No. It just right. gets worse by itself. Right. So can I just make sure I understand these mm. headaches? I've got the feeling of it, it being a pressure feeling around your head, particularly on the forehead, mm. and it's there all day. Mm. You wake up with it and you go to bed with it. Mm. Um, I'm not quite clear what you might be taking for it. Are you no, taking anything? Tried like, like, you know, what is it, Nurofen and stuff. But right. They don't seem to make any difference. No, don't really touch it. Okay. No. Mm. Okay, how many are you taking a day of those? How many? Just like a couple, maybe. I don't want to overdo it. But is it regularly you taking them or just yeah. occasionally here and there? Um, well, if I've got one in the morning, I'll try and take it in the morning. And just try and persevere. It might take some at night as well before we go to Okay, so maybe twice a day you're taking something. Yeah. Okay, you get the picture. Um, what I want to do just to check out your headaches, um, mm. I always like to check the blood pressure, okay, yeah. with headaches. Because right. it's not normal, is it, to have headaches like that all the time? Well, there are various reasons for headaches, and I think what I've got to do first is just make sure mm. any physical reasons. Yeah, because okay. it feels like there's something, you know, it does feel like there's pressure, you know. And what are you thinking it might be when you say well, pressure in your head? I don't know, I might feel a bit silly, but what, I, I don't know, I don't know, it's just weird. And my friend, um, uh, what happened? Well, my friend had like cancer recently, she's only 26, and really, mm. I know you can get you can get brain cancer, can't you? I know it's probably, well, it's probably not, is it? But I, I don't know, it just feels like there's something like, in your head, and that's what and that sounds really about. stupid, I know, yeah. but. But your friend didn't have brain cancer, did she? No, she oh, didn't right. have brain cancer, but she had right. like she had like skin cancer. Oh right. And she was she was only twenty six. That's sad. Yeah. yeah. Well, so your worry is that you might have brain cancer. So it's really important. I can easily check that out for you. Yeah. What I want to do is take your blood pressure and then I want to look in the back of your eyes. Yeah. If there's any pressure in your brain, it Could shows you in it? your eyes. Yeah. And that's yeah. why I'm going to look in the back of yeah. Okay. Let's just check. Just put this on. So, like, so does the blood pressure show as well? Blood pressure is just people can get, if they have blood pressure, they can get headaches. So, oh. I just routinely check it for you, okay? So. I'm just going to look in your eyes now. I'll just turn off the lights first, okay? Okay, okay just look up there for me. Okay, just the bright lights coming. So, um, I've checked your blood pressure and that's fine. And the back of your eyes, so there's no pressure there at all. Okay. And you say your eyesight hasn't changed. No. 
So when I think about <sighs> headaches as a problem mm. when people come to see me, I'm thinking that sometimes people think blood pressure can cause it, mm. so yours is absolutely fine. Uh, as I've said, the pressure mm. behind your eyes is absolutely fine. There's nothing going on inside your brain. Okay. So I am very certain that these are to do with stress and tension. Mm. Yeah. Now, me saying that, does that surprise you? No, not really. You? But the problem is, you see, like, my, this boss person yeah, I'm telling yeah. you about, he's like, oh, you're just making it up. So does that mean that they're not genuine headaches? I mean, because I really feel like I've got them. Uh, if you've got headaches, yeah. you've got headaches. Yeah. The pain is there. It's what you're feeling. Yeah. And stress and tension in different people comes out in different ways. Mm. And in you, it comes out as headaches. Yeah. But realising that the headaches are due to stress, not due to something nasty going yeah. on in your brain, yeah. something you might worry about, I feel is 50% towards helping them get better. Yeah. So you understand what you're dealing with. And me saying it to you hasn't really come as a surprise. No. What you're saying. Yeah. So now I think we need to think about the stress mm. and what help you need in dealing with it. Yeah. Yeah. Because painkillers don't deal with stress. That's what you've been trying yeah. for headaches. But the problem is the stress. Mm. Yeah. No, I get that. So um, the main issue is work. You said pretty much. Yeah. And I wonder when you came here today, was there anything particularly you were hoping I'd do for you, or thinking as a, no, a way really. of helping I, with? I don't. I don't know. I just.